Yo, what's up guys? We're here with Griffin who just got top 32 with Flunderies. Only one out of three players to top this event with Flu. So any shout outs you want to give? Yeah, I want to give a shout out to my boys back in Pittsburgh, part of the Eerie B group chat. And then a big shout out to my boy Ross who helped me test for the event more than like anyone else. Awesome. Yep. Let's get into the deck. How many cards? 40. Perfect. Yeah, so it's just the bird deck. So three Robin, three Eagle, one Toucan, and one Stree. Uh, this card's like really, really bad because it can like never resolve because of the uh, Shizus that shuffle three back. But if you get milled, like you do need it to uh, banish cards to get back later. And then the four tributes, two Mpen, one Avion, one Ryza, which is standard. Uh, then the other Winged Beasts, the Statue, and one DD Crow. DD Crow's not enough to stop a Shizu, uh, like if it's your only going second card but it's really, really good for turn one. And then what happens a lot too, is if you're able to either slow them down or they have like a bad start, this is good like in like the grind game, but it's just obviously not good enough by itself, but it's still worth searching off Robin. Uh, the three shifter, of course, <laughs> weird. And then uh, I played Dogmatica cards because the Deer Servant is really good because one of the only ways the Ashizu tier element deck can play through shifter or like a lot of the times even try to beat you is making a uh, Baguska terribly tired to peer and then the Deer Servant pops it and then uh, Searching Punishment protects statue which is really nice and then I played the three maps, the three quick plays, uh, the three Nadir, three duality, three prosperity which is standard if you're playing the deer, you would play three, and all the other cards are standard. Uh, I played Gold Sark because uh, the deck's not that great going second, so I just wanted to make sure that if I won a die roll, uh, I was going to get to play. And this card historically is pretty bad because you need one of the little birds, but with the deer, uh, the deer and Gold Sark works, so it's more consistent than terraforming and mine. Uh, I thought I could be able to mine a Shizu to your element players. That was a horrible mistake because if they open planet, the cards that shuffle three back get to pop it. So I drew this card a bunch and never resolved it because it was always going to get popped by planet. So I'd probably not play it moving forward. Uh, then the continuous spell and call by. Uh, this card's also really bad and I probably wouldn't want to play it. Uh, just for this deck specifically, because I heard some people were going to side Orange Light, so it's like really bad, and it's not strong enough to like do anything going second, but it's kind of still worth playing just because of how good Orange Light is, and that's really the only reason. And then the one Flunder Trap and the one Dogmatica Trap, so that's it for the main deck, it's 40 cards. The extra deck is kind of important because of the deer. So it's uh, two Entis, which is really good, obviously. Uh, two of the card that draws you one, which is nice because then like the Deer Servant is like engaged. You get to draw a card and search pretty broken. Uh, the MST card, the guy that attacks directly, Downard. Uh, this new card from Darkwing's last, you can send it off uh, Nadir or Punishment. It just negates a face-up card. So there's like some weird board states where like you can't destroy a card, but you need to deal with it and you can negate it. Uh, the trains, which come up um, just because if they have uh, the tier element field spell, all the fusions are like over 3,000 attack. So having something like with more than 3,000 attack to send off punishment is really important. Uh, then Zeus, Phoenix because of like back row. But honestly, no one's playing like trap decks. That's just not a thing in this format. So this should probably be something that like helps you out Baguska even more, like maybe Nightmare Cerberus instead. Harpy Conductor, because one of the cheat codes against Flunder is Mystic Mine early is actually pretty insane against the deck because yeah, they have the quick play out, but if they didn't search at turn one, which they're never searching, they still have to see it and get to it. So you have time to, uh, beat them so this helps you link down to like get out of uh, your enemies mystic minds and then two shirai because it's another nadir or punishment card probably the best one because if you open a good hand of like 
uh, a little bird plus map plus Nadir. Um, if you had to use Pot of Prosperity to get there, then you can't draw. So turn one, you can't send this thing because you can't draw anymore. So you get to send Shurag and then search like uh, DB Crow and then set up the punishment. And then from there, like you just actually can't lose no matter what they have. Uh, then the side deck was uh, three Dark Ruler because I respected uh, like Hand Trap Sprite, uh, which I probably just shouldn't have. Um, and also the Ishizu to your element board that they put up, I think I learned this a little late. It might even be worth siding this against because they under like um, Baron and like Elf and like the Preta Plant. And yeah, they have like the uh, Solemn Judgment Trap that they can search, but it's probably still worth just playing this because the monsters they put up were actually just kind of crazy. So maybe that card's still good. Uh, three Econ, because it's a out to like the simple tier element Ashizu boards like when they just have like the Preta Plant Fusion or like the Infinite Impermanence Trap this dodges it gets to take a monster it's really good yeah better it, than Book of Moon right yeah Book of Moon's a little bit better going first because it stops like Baylor and Imperm but those don't exist no, no one's yeah. playing Baylor and Imperm and then uh, it's an out to, to peer and it's a hilarious out that triggers people so you get like the <laughs> psychological bonus because when you like shifter somebody, it's so easy for the tier element deck to uh, make Baguska, which is one of the reasons why shifter's like not worth complaining about too much because it's so easy for them to summon a level four under a shifter. Um, you, you can just switch the Baguska to attack and then you win because they committed like three cards to make the Baguska. Uh, the Feather Duster for pretty much anything rogue. There were points in the tournament I was siding this in against um, the Ishizu tier element deck because it's like effectively evenly matched because it's going to bait out the Solemn Judgment trap if they don't have Baron and like the people I was testing with were siding trap cards like skill drains and whatnot so I was worried about the back row as well. Uh, three evenly, it's very good against the Ishizu tier element but honestly it's probably still not even enough because they're all playing um, the Baron de Fleur. So when they search the Solemn Judgment Trap and have Baron, you like actually need all three Havenlies to do something. But, so maybe Cherries is better, I'm not sure. Uh, the three Feather Storm, because it's an auto win. And then two DDGs for just more traps to put in to win going first. And then yeah, that's the deck. All right, well congrats on another top. It's pretty sweet. I think this flu deck with its text is like one of the best I've seen. So that's awesome with the Nadir Servant. Yeah. So good job. Uh, thanks for the deck profile. Thanks. Peace.